Hey, on today's video we thought we'd take a look back at old Irish sex education videos from the 80s. There's a video that came out a couple of months ago, but uh, I haven't watched it, you haven't watched it, so we just thought it might be fun to videotape us watching it for the first time. Yes, let's find out uh, what the circumstances were that actually brought us into the world. Ooh. There's a lot of techniques to learn, people. I hope we see... Uh, come. <laughs> no. Getting ready to find out about sex Combing your hair and meeting your friend across the street Sex education for girls I'm Angela Hi Angela And over the Angela. next few sessions We're going to be together But we're not married we're Talking about you growing up Your body Look at the fucking it's dolls oh, oh, I just could imagine this in the movie Saw so, Just being tied to a chair waking up I'm gonna talk to you about your body in all the ways you can feel pain. There's not a big difference between praying and put your hands around a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Uniform, we're missing so many units! They tell each other that they're beautiful and everything like that. That's the closest she's had to a compliment in her life. They tell you you're beautiful and other lies. Stuff. And then something happens. Stuff happens. That's the way I describe Transformers movies to people. <laughs> Robots turn up and stuff happens. That's how she describes sex. Like it did when he had a wet dream. Hold on, like it like it did when he had a wet dream. Who this feels like it's about one person. This, yeah. this is a videotape about Steve and sex life. This was the first version of Snapchat. Because while they're making love and being happy together. The woman feels her vagina becoming kind of slippery inside. Ooh, like a thief. So that the penis can easily slip in and out. No trouble. No one knows it was there. He just slipped in, he slipped out. Like an Irishman at a funeral. He walked in, he said sorry to the widow, <laughs> and he was gone. He was back at the bar before the body was in the ground. Some people call it having sex. Some people call it having sex. I call it... A compromise. Do you feel like there's like a, another shot to this where it's just a guy going, okay, so I'm just going to put you down as a no for <laughs> broadband. Maybe you're wondering if a mistake could be made and a man could pass water instead of semen and sperm when having sexual intercourse. But that can't happen. I won't let it stop me. I'll be everywhere. Because, you know, when you hear about it first, it sounds very strange. Yeah, why would you pee on someone, you weird old lady? Jellyfish? I'm going to pee on someone. Because God wants me to. He says weirder things. God hates it vanilla style. He wants you to pee on someone. Be sound. Pee on someone for Christ's sake. For my son's sake. Yeah, alright. That was the first one. That was a bit of fun. Jesus Christ, that was upsetting. It's the same introduction. Getting ready. I hope today in school I don't get captured by that old lady and she makes me talk about sex again. I'm eight. Are the girls thinking, are those two fucking? <laughs> I'm never going to have sex. I don't have a bike or an entire outfit made in denim. Welcome back. <laughs> we didn't go anywhere, you mad bitch. I love when you come in a second and you're just like, cunts are on the green again. <laughs> Get out of my garden. It keeps walking towards the camera like she's the Japanese girl in the ring. Mrs. Old Lady, you're trying to seduce me. <laughs> With a girl, down between her legs, there are three openings. The grand opening? <laughs> there's the going out of business sale. And there's the grand reopening at work. We're back in business, baby! <laughs> and the back opening is for when you go to the toilet and do the big job. The big job! Sounds like a construction worker. Yeah. Trying to build Crumlin Shopping Centre. <laughs> We're hoping that when the big job is done, a lot more tourists will come to town. Christ. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's rare to see someone whose balls are as long as mine. This is a weird game of pin the tail on the donkey. And some people call the penis funny names like John Willie or something. But we call it its real name, penis. Oh, Mr. John Willie was my father. I like to be known as penis. When you're joined together like one person, and you love each other so much. He has made it a really lovely feeling. Supposing God made it an awful feeling, then nobody'd mm -hmm. do it. Uh, uh, men would. 
And then we wouldn't have any babies. We wouldn't have any babies, would we? And suppose God let a draft of air just suddenly rush in here and... Oh, goodness. And my husband isn't coming home till seven. And it's four now. God doesn't want people to have sexual intercourse before they're married. He only likes looking at married people, fuck. <laughs> and he knows what's best. So there we go. That's what that was. Uh, just do whatever you want, I guess. No one's going to judge you. No, uh, except for God. Yeah. And me. I'm going to... I'm sick of judge Yeah, you. God and George will judge the shit out of you. Which is through the back door. The big job. I forgot she called it a big job. Bye! <laughs>